What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you another Ghost Multiplayer Tip video today and we are looking at how good are Ballistic Vests in Ghost Multiplayer. Now I originally came up with the idea for this video because I noticed that the vests seem particularly strong in this game compared to previous Call of Duties. So I thought it was worth a video for you guys. Uh, big thanks to HeroXM, my buddy, for helping me make this video and being the dummy basically for you know, me shooting and showing you guys a shot-by-shot -shot analysis on the ballistic vests. So starting us off here, I'm going to show you guys four weapons, first off without the ballistic vest and at close range. So the Remington R5 right there you just saw takes three shots at this close range distance, the most effective range for that weapon. The MTAR X submachine gun also took three shots at this close range. And then the third weapon we're going to be testing here is the M27 IAR light machine gun. It's going to take three shots to kill at close range with no ballistic vest. And then finally, the marksman rifle, the MR28, which seems to be everyone's favorite, takes two shots at this close range to kill with no ballistic vest. So now we're going to throw on the vest and see what the difference is. So the Remington R5, remember it took three shots. Now you're seeing that it took three shots with the ballistic vest icon, so it showed that it was, you know, still on, then another three shots. So we're going to see with the submachine gun here, the MTAR X, it's actually going to take seven total shots. It took six total with the Remington, seven with the MTAR, and then the M27 light machine gun here is also going to take six shots to kill, and then finally the MR28 is going to take four. So basically what you're seeing here is about double. The ballistic vest doubles your health. It takes the amount of shots it takes to kill with you know, the weapon normally, and then once you go through that ballistic vest, it, it doubles it. It's crazy. It's just way strong. So the Remington right here, we're going to long range. It took three shots from that range. That's not really long range, but anyways. Uh, the MTAR X took four shots. That wasn't five. I know I had a double shot there. But the MTAR X kills from four at any range. So, anyways, the M27 IAR is going to take three shots from long range. And then finally, the MR28 is going to take three shots at the very, very end of its effective range. Uh, that I am a little bit further away with this, so keep that in mind. So now, again, we're throwing the ballistic vest on, and the Remington, again, is going to take three shots. You know, I probably should have gone a little further back to test that weapon right there. But anyways, it doubled the shots just like before. And then right here, the MTAR is going to take 10 shots, 9 or 10 shots, seriously, 9 or 10 shots. And this is not even really far away for the MTAR to kill a person with ballistic vests on. It's just insane. I mean, uh, some machine guns against ballistic vests is just not strong. I don't advise it. Right there with the M27, it basically doubled the shots like before. And then finally, the MR28 is going to do the same. Three shots to get through that vest, and then three shots to kill, effectively doubling the health. Okay, guys, so that was a lot of information, but I hope you learned something new today. The ballistic vest basically doubles your health in multiplayer. This is a very, very strong support streak, and I totally advise you guys run it if you're, you know, wanting to go on a big win streak, maybe in Domination or Search and Rescue, Search and Destroy. I don't even know, but I just know that it's extremely strong in this game so again hope you guys learned something new if you did remember to click that like button and subscribe for more call of duty ghosts content coming very very soon peace